One of the most infamous moments in Game of Thrones is the Red Wedding, when the King in the North, Rob Stark, is betrayed by Walder Frey. Rob is killed, along with his mother Catelyn and his wife Talisa in the show, and with thousands of his men. It's a sudden, shocking end to some of the heroes of the series, and it's tragic for so many reasons. Rob fights so hard to rescue his father Ned and his lost siblings, but he fails. His independent northern kingdom falls to the treacherous Boltons. Catelyn sees her firstborn child murdered before her eyes, and she dies believing that Bran, Rickon, and Arya are also dead. Talisa dies along with her unborn child, though this character is different in the books. Arya arrives at the twins, hoping to reunite with her family, but she only arrives in time for them to die. The Mormonts, Mandalays, and many other northern families lose sons, daughters, brothers, and sisters. And there's another detail which could add yet more tragedy to this massacre, involving the death of the direwolf, Grey Wind. At the beginning of Game of Thrones, the Stark family find some direwolf pups. Direwolves are like wolves, but bigger, and more mystical. They're also on the heraldry of House Stark, so Ned lets each of his children keep a direwolf. Rob has Greywind, Sansa has Lady, Arya has Nymeria, Bran has Summer, Rickon has Shaggy Dog, and Jon has Ghost. As the story goes on, we learn that these direwolves are more than just pets. They develop a magical connection with the Stark kids, allowing them to feel what their wolves are feeling, even to warg into them, meaning they can enter the minds of their wolves and see through their eyes. Bran does this the most, as part of his magical journey, but the other Starks have the same kind of power. Sansa doesn't use hers because Lady is killed in Book 1, but Arya walks into Nymeria even after Arya leaves Westeros, and Nymeria becomes leader of a wolf pack. Rickon and Shaggy Dog we don't know much about, they die in the show, but in the books they're apparently alive on like a cannibal unicorn island that we'll hopefully see next book. John tends to resist his power, but he does walk Ghost sometimes, and many readers believe that Ghost will play a role in John's resurrection in the books. There's this whole thing about how when wargs die, their mind can live on inside their wolf. The character Varamir does this in the prologue of Book 5. He dies, but then lives a second life as his wolf. And when John dies at the end of Book 5, he might do the same thing, live on in his direwolf Ghost. John's last word when he dies is ghost, and the description of cold in his death is similar to Varamir's. John won't stay in ghost for good. Melisandre has a vision of John changing from a man to a wolf to a man again. So maybe John will stay in ghost for a while, then be resurrected as a man by Melisandre, like he is in the show. Watch this video for more on Book John's resurrection. But the point is that wargs can live on in their wolves, and some readers believe that this happens with Rob and Greywind. We don't know much about Rob's relationship with his wolf, because like Rickon, Rob is not a POV character in the books, we don't see the story from his point of view. But Rob does seem close with Greywind. The wolf fights alongside Rob in battle, and growls at the Freys who later betray Rob. But in Book 3, Rob doesn't listen to his wolf's warnings. He starts to distance himself from Grey Wind. As Rob gets more involved in southern politics, it becomes inconvenient to bring a man-eating wolf to his meetings. So before the Red Wedding, Grey Wind is locked up outside the feast, and this disconnection by Rob from his mystical northern Stark roots is part of what leads to his downfall. Because when shit gets real and the wedding gets red, Grey Wind isn't there to save Rob, but Rob may return to his wolf in the end. Rob's last words are grey wind, just like John's last word is ghost. So maybe like John and like Varamir, Rob lives a second life as his direwolf grey wind. A very short second life. Because after Rob dies, the phrase also kill grey wind. In the books, a Stark supporter called Reynold Westerling briefly frees grey wind, and the wolf attacks some phrase before being shot down. So maybe that's actually Rob living through Greywind, attacking his Frey betrayers before being killed again. Imagine how confused and angry and hurt Rob would have been, having his family and his men and himself murdered, then finding himself in the body of his wolf for a final frantic fight before dying a second and final time. 
After Grey Wind is killed, the Freys stitch the wolf's head onto Rob's corpse, which is gruesome, but there's also a neat symmetry here. Because Grey Wind's head is on Rob's body, just as Rob's mind walks into Grey Wind's body. This might be a deliberate parallel. So, there's no proof, but it does seem very possible that Rob walks Grey Wind and dies twice. It doesn't really change the plot, but it does make Rob's death even sadder. In the show, Arya sees Grey Wind die, and there's a moment of eye contact between her and the wolf. Which means, if Rob walks Grey Wind, he not only sees his mother and wife and men and himself die, he also sees his long-lost sister for the last time. He sees the fear and danger she's in, but Rob's unable to save her. He dies powerless, pained, and confused in a foreign body in a foreign land. Maybe this is punishment from the old gods for a northerner who strayed too far south. Or maybe this isn't really the end for Rob. If you want to get tinfoil with this, we can go further. Because this guy, Reynold Westerling, after he frees Greywind, he gets shot with crossbows but escapes into a river. So it's possible that Reynold survives. And the thing is, wargs can live a second life not only in wolves, but in humans as well. In the prologue, Varamir tries to take over the body of a wildling called Thistle. So maybe Rob could do the same. Maybe Rob is killed at the Red Wedding, then wargs into Greywind, and then when the wolf dies, wargs into Reynold Westerling, who escapes downriver. King Rob could still be alive somewhere, in Reynold's body. Maybe to reunite with his zombie mother, Stoneheart, because Catelyn is resurrected in the books. Maybe when Stoneheart leads a Red Wedding revenge, Rob as Reynold could stab a fray in the heart and say Rob Stark sends his regards, just as Roos did to Rob. But that is just fan fiction, really. Rob probably doesn't walk Reynold, because there are enough bloody Starks resurrected as it is with Jon and Stoneheart. But it is plausible, at least, that Rob walks Greywind and dies twice in one night. Another layer of horror and pain to the travesty of the Red Wedding. This art is by Ertach Altanoz. Check out his awesome work linked in the description. And as ever, check out the Game of Thrones subreddits and forums, where a lot of these cool fan theories come from in the first place. Thanks to the patrons who make Old Shift X possible, including Heather Neilon Champagne, Settlers of Natan, Charlie Fox, Max Puplet, Katie Jones, and Mark Enfinger. Cheers. <laughs>